All right. Hello, and welcome back to the Crossword Blog, aka Clog, Thursday edition. Um, <laughs> we haven't done one of these in a few days, uh, but I have a good reason. I was on vacation, but now I'm back. I actually, while I was on vacation, you know, off, <laughs> off screen, I did solve the Monday and Tuesday, and then. I took a crack at the Wednesday, wasn't making a ton of progress, and I was just tired. <laughs> so I left it a little bit unsolved. Um, I even tried the Saturday and a little bit of the Sunday, um, all off screen. But uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't really feel like recording um, while in the Bahamas. So no footage of that exists. Anyway, let's get right into it. Um, Particle prefix? Don't know. Um, as well, you'd think that would just be also, but that might be too simple for a um, for a Thursday. But then I saw this uh, device for Arachne in Greek myth. I believe she was known for her weaving skills, and you weave on a loom. Um, Smooth in a way, don't know. And okay, yeah, let's see if there's a revealer down here. US geographical grouping or a hint to these, okay. Yeah, I don't know what any of that is. Also don't know what any of that is. Okay, <laughs> so we'll have to come up, uh, or have to come back to that in a bit. Uh, assess with up. It's like sum up, but with four letters. Um, okay. Cats might ride around on some Roombas in some videos. I've seen that. Alma mater. So I was thinking Lustful might be Randy. Um, I don't know why Randy means that, but I think it does. And a smart TV might have DVR, although it's a little old fashioned. Antipasto is a like appetizer type of thing. You might have, it has like seafood in it, I think. Um, but I think it might have olives. Excellent. Could just be yes. Could be nigh. Because I was thinking MERS is a good ending. Okay. Spouse. It's like say. It, it really means to like attest, like to espouse someone's virtues. But USB is a specification. Um, for some cables. Okay. Windy City is Chicago, and then it's Chicago O'Hare, which I think is OHR. Maybe not, though, because Phoenix is risen. Oh, that doesn't even fit. So. It's also reborn from the ashes. Hmm. Bouncer would check an ID. Hmm. It's one every second. I was thinking this could be an Ethan. I don't know. I don't know. That, that might be too much of a stretch, even for a Thursday. Like every second number is an even. Um, a lot of stats that could be on a baseball card, but it could be like RPIs. Um, 
Greek letter. Definitely not the last one. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, I'm going to take that out. RC cola is a thing, so maybe RCs. I think that means to end something. If you do crew, it's rowing. General sows chicken. Easy victory might be a route. Swabs. Ham on rye, is that a sandwich? If you have it, you own it. If you scratch something, you mar it. TCBY is a frozen yogurt place. Tom something. The river sticks. That's the uh, river to Hades um, in Greek mythology. I don't know what this is, though. Turnip or beet, so they're both root vegetables. Okay, let's look at the downs. Noah, um, he had the ark and it was lost in the Bible. Tony Morrison, I think. Antiparticle for the across. I'm game, maybe. Smooth in a way. Same. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that could be other than game, but, um, okay. Um, the cask of Amontillado or something? That was a Edgar Allan Poe poem. Some dude, I don't know, got drunk and then I mean, he was rude or something, and he, like, <laughs> got sealed in there. <laughs> I forget exactly what happened in there. I guess if you're a late comer to a movie, you disrupt people because you have to walk in front of them. Could it just be Barack? That's the first name of Obama. Okay, I don't think it's OHR because I think it's ID card here. Yeah, that seems right. Mm. Well used pencil. Could be like a nub, like sharpened it so much. Okay, what's this? Mm, maybe not, because I think this might be deer. Yeah, I don't know what H is. Maybe starts on, begins. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Units of magnetic flux density. I think these are Henry's. Um, could be wrong on that. It might also be uh, 
like Teslas. Yeah, because I think it's a Tom Collins. Yeah, Henry's are a measure of inductance, not magnetic flux, I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I was an engineer. Um, Oscar and Edgar. These are awards, I guess. I know the Oscar's an award. I haven't heard of an Edgar Award, but I would believe it. Um, tessellation piece. I forget what tessellation means. Anti in poker. Uh, poker chips, all that. Okay. You'd think this would be Ohio something. And then I want this to be something Alabama. Buckeye, Hawkeye, Yellowhammer. Tri-state area. Okay. Um, so I guess it's just a combination of three states. Oh, and I, Iowa, Ohio, Alabama. <laughs> and so you have Ohio, Iowa, Alabama. That's pretty cool. Um, and they found three of these that worked. That's interesting. So at least I know what to look for now. Um, Okay, where was I? Prime time. I don't think it's route, because I think it's prime time ME. And then Niplu Ultra means nothing can be more than it, I guess. So it would be Apex. Easy Victory would be a romp, okay. And then a lot of beehives, beehives have a dome shape, I guess. I guess Patsy Klein sung as an alto. Tiles can be tessellated, I guess. Oh yeah, tessellating means it like it's a pattern that repeats on itself. So like a you know the herringbone pattern. You might not know it by name, but look it up. You'll recognize it. Um that's a pattern that tessellates. Okay. Spotted scene, that makes sense. Hmm, something rose, canine sounding. Dog rose, maybe? I don't know, <laughs> that's a canine. Uh, G, sure. This looks like Montana in here. Alaska. Okay, yeah, so I guess um, Ohio is the Buckeye State, and then Iowa is the Hawkeye State, and Alabama is the Yellowhammer State. <laughs> I don't know, is that is that true? But Alaska definitely is the last frontier, that would make sense. Montana, the treasure state? <laughs> Maybe. Um, could it be Sam? Maybe. I want this to be again, but then, yeah, I don't think it's more likely that this is right. Yeah, okay, what state could fit here? It's a weird set of letters. Yeah. I'm not seeing it immediately. And this is the last one. Okay. Okay. Deity born from chaos. Something of us, maybe? Doesn't need to be right. It's just. ORD, I think, is actually the Chicago. Yeah, yeah I don't know why it's that but <laughs> that seems familiar to me 
Um, this could just be Arisen from the Ashen. Oh, Vermont. There we go. Yeah, I was just having trouble because I, for some reason, I wasn't thinking that this state would go all like that far into Montana. But that seems right. I said, could be like Kim Cattrall. That's a name. Is a tick every second, maybe? A motive. This has got to be Maine. Nebraska. Kansas. Okay. Can't explain. I, it just looks like states, you know? Um, so that actually adds more fuel to the nub fire. So I'm going to put that back in here. I'm down. Sand. Oh, sand down something. Smooth it. Wax. To wax means to talk in a certain way. So that could be right. But that actually <laughs> does not seem right at all. Um, I guess alpha is definitely not the last Greek letter because it's the first one. I guess hits, slow, yeah, that's a, like slow gin is a thing. Okay, I'm just going to take both of these out. <laughs> okay, making great progress though. Uh, let's look at the downs here. Periodical. Uh, like Zeta. It is not the last Greek letter, because even though you might think it is, because Z. Um, because Omega is. Size something up. Erebus, that seems right. Acer. Ooh. Acer is a computer company. Salad bar. You would pick vegetables there. Um, I guess a hammock could be made of ropes. I'm, I, I guess, <laughs> sure. Um, Rio de Janeiro, maybe. That looks like a Portuguese or Spanish word. And Rio de Janeiro is in Brazil. Uh, a pail for sand when you're making a sand castle, might be used to shape stuff. Weep, and then wed, I guess a spouse means to make your spouse. Um, esters? Esters are things that smell good. I don't know if they're, if that word is used to describe flowers, but it could be. USA, USA, the dream team in like Olympic basketball. I think that's what it's referring to in like the 1996 Olympics or something. Um, but yeah, it's a USA team composed of all the best players from all the different NBA teams. Um, a Satra and then a bow, a nab, maybe Sutra. Nab. A nib, a citra. Huh, okay. Yeah, this is my dilemma, because satra looks the most like a thing here, but well-used pencil is definitely a nub or a nib. Sutra. I think sutra looks fine, okay. Ibu? Okay, that seems wrong. Abu, maybe. There we go. Awesome. That was a really fast Thursday for me. Um, let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. Yeah, um, not the trickiest theme in the world for a Thursday, but a fun one. Um, I don't know. I always like these like portmanteau things, and um, 
I have to admit the clue, <laughs> you could have left the clues blank here and I would have done just as well because um, I do not know my different state names uh, at all. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. It was, it was sort of fun. It was like a fun solving experience to just like try to think about what states would fit in the blanks um, and how they might overlap. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up to the themes or to the theme. I enjoyed it. Uh, even if it wasn't like anything, you know, mind blowing, I thought it was fun. Um, and then for the fill, I thought it was pretty clean fill. Um, nothing too, too gross other than, well, you know, there's, you got your nye and your ein and your eye cal, <laughs> uh, not ideal. Um, and you know, nothing super showy in terms of like long themers, you know, Tom Collins, uh, like <laughs> it's fine. Uh, nothing wrong with that. But, you know, nothing like that makes you say, wow, <laughs> when you're when you're solving a puzzle. Um, so all in all, I think it was a, you know, successful Thursday. I had a fun time with it, a little on the easy side. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to give it a nice little average grade of a 5.5 out of 10. You know, slight, slightly above average. Um, if you're the constructor here, that's not a bad grade by any means. <laughs> um, means I like the puzzle. Uh, but yeah, I think um, I had a good time with it. Well constructed, nothing too awful. And, you know, the only bad thing I can say is, you know, some like non-ideal fill, a uh, lot of like three letter stuff and nothing like too flashy, but theme was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.